wave pad replacements and like they just float on your head. So next up is going to be Zane versus X. All right. Okay. X. So yeah, I'm quite familiar with X's Marth. Um, very dash back heavy, very precise post tippers as every Marth should be. Yeah, definitely very smart uh, in placing these areas. Wow, keeping that can. Oh my god. This is so threatening right now. Just keeping that can right there. Just not letting them breathe at all. Keeping them. It's like they're in the pool, just pushing their head back down every single time. Yeah, most definitely. And now we see the boy X trying to find a way to get in, but this can is just covering from above so well. Okay, so Duck Hunt kind of has a little bit of the Marth effect, where they might have a little bit of trouble killing. Um, Marth, you know, he, he still has that sort of trouble that he's always had to net the kills at late percent, but I've also noticed that a lot of Marths like to innovate with like the tipper side B, tipper F tilt, and so if X manages to do that, that could be a stock. <gasps> what? Parrying the Shield Breaker? Oh what my bravery. God. <laughs> the cojones. Wow. Alright, after to set him off. Oh no, ah! you ran right, right in front of it. <laughs> That's gotta be it, right? No. Oh my god. These two are at max rage and ah! <laughs> <laughs> Dude, they were just not, they just didn't care. They're just like, I'm just gonna run into this can. It's like my turn, your turn. Mm, yes, today I will run into can. Oh. Not too much extra credit there for Zane either, so. Does mean X is gonna have a lot easier of a time of evening it out. Oh, wow. This is damage. Just not yeah. letting up at all. Oh! Oh, man. This is Ooh. gross. You know, n normally, as Marth, you do want to kind of slay through the uh, projectiles and walls of your tippers. But against Can, that can just be super risky, because even though your Marth, or, I'm sorry, even though your sword is disjointed, you can still get hit by that explosion. Can. Mm -hmm. And that can is such a good distraction tool, you know, just set it up, keep it moving, and just the idea of it moving can sometimes... Oh, wow. These are fantastic ways of getting around this shield breaker in the, the boldest ways I've ever seen. Parrying it, spot dodging it, they're not playing around at all. Yeah, they're doing a great job of uh, navigating around... Uh... A lot of these attacks coming out from X, and their carry, their can usage is on point. Mm -hmm. Oh wow! They just pulled the Philip DeFranco, jumped right into it. I said that last week, but I had I had to say it again. <laughs> it's definitely fitting for this match. Ooh, speaking of fitting, that perfect spacing to get this tipper up there. This is quite a lead. X has to do a lot to be able to even even it up here. Okay, X is doing a great job surviving. Hopefully I don't jinx that, okay? Okay, you did not jinx it yet. Maybe if I say it. <laughs> Maybe, you wanna you want try it out. <laughs> yeah, you know, X has been doing a great job surviving. Oh. All right, we're good. Oh, wait, no. <laughs> Battlefield set. No! 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 What? Wait, how are you still living? I thought it was over. I turned away. Wait. Okay. Wait, is that, that it? Please okay. tell me. Okay, thank you. <laughs> oh. This is what'll turn me into the Joker.
<laughs> Same. I think I'm I already the, am. I'm the Joker, baby. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh my god. Just run into can. And then mm -hmm. what does X do? Runs into can. Just, hey, you know, you should probably stop running into can. No. I must run into can. It is my duty. I must. <laughs> going right back to Battlefield. That did help X live quite a lot longer because Battlefield is a very tall stage. So, you know, Duck Hunt does have quite a few vertical kills. But, I mean, it was so dominant last game from Zane. Yeah, and I, I like the placements of the up airs coming out from them. Just keeping the pressure on when your boy X is uh, jumping. Oh no, they were a little bit too low of a percent both times. Wow. Oh. Uh. Choosing a stage that tall is not working quite out. Oh, uh. didn't air dodge at the end in time. That's a very rare sight to see, but a breath of fresh air for X. And honestly, sometimes, see your opponent SD and you just level up so I wouldn't be surprised if they can completely turn this around just from that one breath of fresh air I'm sure your boy X is relieved because you know when you're having trouble finishing that stock you're definitely worried about getting that getting into that extra credit percent where you're just accumulating so much while you're trying to just end it um, so that SD right there might have uh, Helped him get the kill, but it seems like uh, Zane's doing a great job. They are using their uh, gunmen to keep the shield pressure going. We are seeing quite a bit, though, from X of bringing on the percent, not making it too easy for Zane. Oh no. <gasps> I saw that. Just the uh, trying to chase them with that back air. If that had landed, I swear to God. Good shield weight from X. Mm. Oh. 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 That was so smart. You saw, like, he dipped down mm -hmm. to, like, low profile the attack. Yeah. This could be a kill for either of these players, honestly. Yeah, they, they both seem to be surviving for quite long. They're not really dying. Yeah, oh it's my, that's the... untackable, but not quite enough. I think the camp might be a little stale, potentially. Oh, <laughs> up throw. When in doubt. When in doubt, we throw you out. Mm-hmm. Just yeet. Seems like this was the sigh of relief that X needed, because they've got a little bit of a lead going. Yeah. <laughs> You're seeing these uh, these F smash coming out. Uh, if you do the fair and you manage to chase them, you can potentially get a tipper F smash. Mm. It's like a classic way of uh, positioning yourself for tippers. And it's also helpful because sometimes your base hits won't send people into tumble. And so they won't be able to DI. And so you can just memorize where to get your uh, tipper finishers. Oh. Mm. From how, how long both of these players live each stock, I wouldn't be surprised if it goes to like 160 again. And I swear if that, if that curses it. Yeah. Well, it seems like the, the curse isn't really uh, doing much here. I think they're both uh, survive. Oh, oh. Um, <laughs> no, I was wrong. Well then. I live to fight again. 
just the Thundercats. Just a uh, Thundercats. Ho! Just end it there. Thundercats, the dog, eliminating them out of that game too. And now we're going to see a game three coming out. This is the game that will uh, determine who wins the set. Yeah, this was pretty close games. For, or that was a pretty close game. The previous one? If I remember correctly, Zane was doing a pretty good job at bringing it to Here, a... Here's the last go of that. Yo, thanks, Miles. Let's go. Yeah, kept a pretty solid lead there. And boom. Yeah, so that was the Sweet. last kill of the previous game. But yeah. yeah, he was. this was definitely much closer. That SD definitely played a part, though. Even Not even just in terms of like, oh, it was stock. Because for all we know, X could have taken that stock early enough. It's the mental, like, the mental bonus that I keep. Oh, that was a... Okay, I see what it was there. That SD. It was... Go back... Oh, wait. Never mind. Yeah, sure. Uh, the SD was a spot, like it's a... Neutral air dodge. Neutral air dodge. It was a neutral... Or, no. No, it was up and then it hugged the stage too much. Ooh. Okay, that okay. was interesting. Alright, so now we see a slightly lower stage. I expect the survivability to be a little bit different. Yeah. Um, I believe it's 180 units on top, while Battlefield is like 195. Mm -hmm. So I think that's like a 15 point difference. That's quite a difference as well, because that means that you're going to be killing way earlier off the top. And Duck Hunt loves doing that. Yeah, ooh, and speaking of love, we see that Uboy X is really loving getting those uh, forward airs and up airs, attacking out so much percent. Mm. What? No! We don't tech those, I guess. Oh. Gonna be kicking himself for that. Yeah, that gave Zane such a big lead now. Yeah. With that said, I do like what X is doing with the can. Uh, minus that last stock, of course. Um, when you shield the can and explodes while you're up close to Duck Hunt, obviously Duck Hunt is also going to get hit by that explosion. And so sometimes shielding can kind of act as like a sort of reflector um, in similar fashion to Day Day's like Gordo, where if you shield it, it kind of gets stuck back. So it's doing a better job of dealing with that. Oh my god, just this can play has been on fire this game. Oh. Oh. You see more and more fire with the gunman and the can. Chris Kyle with all these snipes. Wow. And the up air. This is absolutely disgusting stuff from Zane just showing, hey, Duck Hunt got some stuff. Oh my. Ooh. Yeah, that up looks a little bit too negative on shields. Alright, good. Wait, on the patient. Oh no. They had that F smash charging in case they did the- <gasps> Oh, they just went for it. Yeah. They, they noticed that they like to go for those neutral air dodges or just try to get back to that part of the ledge from the jump over. So that's why they had also charged the F smash as well. That they were expecting, because they had also set up there, the can. Mm -hmm. They have the can set up so that it forces them to roll or jump above. And in that situation, because the can was at that high up, they had to roll. So it forced them to go straight into the up smash. Wow, and it's funny because usually you're conditioning your mind to avoid that can, but sometimes it's better off that you do uh, get hit by the can so you don't get hit mm -hmm. by uh, another uh, strong option.